Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be items that you can get from the Dollar Tree that are emergency prepping items. As you guys know, we're all dealing with the coronavirus outbreak. And I wanted to show you some items that you can get for just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And that way you can get you a nice stockpile of items that you need. So let's get started. So the first set of items I think that you should pick up is broth. Broth is great for cooking as well as if you're sick to get some fluids in you. And you can find beef and chicken at the local Dollar Tree. These have no MSG and gluten free and I and they're ready to use as you can see. I use this for a number of things. And as you can see, here are the nutritional facts. These are also great for the elders, a lot of people who don't have teeth. And if we come into a emergency situation, this is just a great item to have. And the expiration date is 5 13 21 2021 so again great item do not forget i've noticed going to the stores and seeing people's videos a lot of items that i would think and recommend prepping people forgot about so that would be the first set of items also juice i recommend and i chose apple cranberry and this has one gram of sugar, two carbs, eight calories. But I'd recommend also getting OJ if you can find Sunny D, things like that. Uh, they will have a little bit higher sugar content, but you can always dilute it with water. But I just recommend getting some kind of juice. Here's the nutritional facts on the one I chose. We wanted apple juice. The apple juice, they only have the small moths one. Cranberries, always good to have in your stockpile cranberry juice. So we just picked up the apple cranberry. The next item is self-explanatory water. You can find the big jugs like this. You can find, I think they have six packs of the water bottles, the small ones as well. If you can't get to a different store, I have a friend on the channel, she can't always, she doesn't have a car and, and she's ill and she can't always get to the store. So getting the big, big jugs uh, just pushes your dollar a little more. You can also use this container in an emergency purposes and boil water and put it back in this jug. So I recommend getting water. This one's a little bent, but there we go. And I like this one because it's easy to grab. But yes, water and juice and broth. We're gonna talk some canned food items. I highly recommend getting refried beans and or any kind of beans in your stockpile. They have these at the local Dollar Tree. This is one pound, 15 ounces of refried beans. This has a good shelf life and this one doesn't expire till September 1st. 2021 you can do all kinds with bean all kinds of meals with beans including stretching your ground beef if you have ground beef and you're making burritos or anything you can do half ground beef half refried beans that's what i've done many many times when we've been on a budget so i suggest any kind of beans refried beans just get you some beans the next is canned chicken this I found at the Dollar Tree. They have Tyson and they have another brand that starts with a C. Obviously, I got the name brand one. And this has a great expiration date of November 21st, 2022. Um, that's just the recommended date. Of course, these can go a lot longer. It is recommended if you are doing it for a long-term stockpiling, not to get the pool tops, but these kind. But if you're doing it for the coronavirus or just stocking up because we may be stuck in our homes for a while and we've got kids, I have done a million different meals with this chicken, and including I just make a chicken kind of dip where I just add mayonnaise and uh, salt and pepper and whatever seasonings my family likes. 
uh, they like a lot of garlic in it. I put Italian seasoning and just mayonnaise and mix it all up and they eat it with crackers. You can also put this on bread and have a chicken salad sandwich. You can also put this in with pasta and mayonnaise and make a chicken salad sandwich. You add um, cucumber or celery, whatever you have. You can just do a million things with this. I have even um, put this in chicken noodle soup. So I just opened the can and threw it right in to add some more chicken. I've even put some oil in a pan, put the canned chicken in there, cook some rice up, just a million uses and it's just great to have. So I highly recommend stockpiling or getting canned chicken for your emergency prep. And with that tuna, I found Starkist at my local Dollar Tree. They have name brand and obviously off brand. But this is an item, like I said with the chicken, kind of the same thing, so recommend getting those. The next item is Vienna sausage. These are great for a snack, great for the kids and on a budget. And if you don't have a lot of freezer, if you don't have a deep freezer like I do, I highly recommend that, first of all. But if you only have just a, a regular standard, even if you have an apartment, apartment fridges and freezers, actually, that's mine. It's one of those small ones. So if you don't have a lot of room for like hot dogs, things like that, get you the canned ones these are really really good my kids like them you can do a million things with this stuff and it has a great shelf life this one is wow january 6 2023 so highly recommend that also rotel i recommend getting rotel because you can't always get to the store if you need peppers if you need to tomatoes if you need um, just anything, you can find it uh, in can form. So I recommend, and this is just not with Rotel, crushed tomatoes, things like that. Um, here we go, El Bato. Again, I got this huge one. This will last several meals. I add this stuff to rice, to meats, to pastas. You can do a million and one things with these. And... Wait, they all a year out, over a year and a half out. So, June 23rd, 2021. These are great to have. And since I don't have a lot of fridge space, because of course I want eggs and milk and stuff in my fridge, these are just great to stockpile on and keep for emergency purposes. Seasonings, you can find all kinds of seasonings at the Dollar Tree. I have fresh cilantro in my fridge once that runs out and if I can't get to the store, guess what I have. So that's always, and garlic powder, I put garlic powder in everything. They have a million different seasonings up there. I just picked up a couple. I didn't want to clear the shelves. I just wanted to get what, um, doubles or triples of what I needed. All right, so that is some of the food items. And that is recent purchases from what's going on. So let's get into other stuff. And let's name the obvious. So your Dollar Tree has name brand toilet paper. They have the Scott, the four pack, and this is $1. And how many, how many does it say? Just four regular rolls. They also have the Dollar Tree one that's in four rolls, and then you can find the one single rolls. If you can find them, I know it's hard to find right now. This, in the long run, doesn't save you as much money, but if you wanted, if you went to the, if the big grocery stores are out, check your Dollar Tree, because they may have these. I mean, you're, you're gonna have to buy like five or six to get your family through the week. But they do have it, and I highly recommend. Another item, if you can't find toilet paper, guess what? Baby wipes. Just don't flush them. I don't, they even have the flushable wipes. I don't buy them because baby wipes are bigger, and I don't even flush the flushable wipes. Do not, I've had many plumbers say, do not flush those flushable wipes. But baby wipes, they have the off brand. These I found at Dollar Tree. They're 40. I've, I've picked them up before. So these were a great item for me to pick up. I think I picked up four, yeah, four packs. Again, I didn't want to clear the shelf and other people. 
But this is just great also to refresh your body, to clean yourself if you're out of toilet paper. And um, yeah, they have, like I said, the off-brand Dollar Tree one and all different ones. So I highly recommend getting some baby wipes. And I recommend getting you some disinfectant wipes as well as disinfectant spray. I should have pulled that out, but I bought that the other day. The, um, not the Lysol, but the Dollar Tree one. I highly recommend getting some of these and I use these on a daily basis. They do have them at the regular grocery stores if you could find them, but for a dollar at Dollar Tree, it's just a better deal. And make sure you get the ones that say disinfectant wipes. So I highly recommend getting those to clean up. And the spray as well as Clorox bleach. Now they have the big, huge one. It's just a little watered down. I do have that one. And then they have the real brand Clorox. It's probably a little cheaper for you at the big grocery store if you can find it. But I just, I like these just for storing purposes, the smaller ones. But to get you any kind of bleach, they have the name brand and off brand. Hand soap. I unfortunately wasn't able to get the antibacterial one, but they still do have regular hand soaps. Plus you can make your own hand soap if you need to, but I recommend stockpiling on some hand soap and antibacterial. However, I doubt anybody's gonna find that anytime soon. You can make your own with using alcohol and aloe vera gel. There's different recipes, but if you are gonna make your own, try and find some alcohol. A laundry soap so many people are forgetting laundry soap I've actually people have known that I'm a couponer and have a stockpile and I'm getting messages on Facebook saying hey can you put a bundle together for me and sell it you know to me unfortunately the problem is is I, ha I, I stopped couponing for a while and have been living off of my stockpile and just because I help my in-laws and I have a large family I am not able to and I don't want to sell uh, a bundle to anybody I, I be happy to donate and I have pulled out some items of course it's not paper products but I have pulled out some bar soap some shampoos um, and conditioner stuff like that to just donate to whoever needs it I'm not gonna sell it and make money off of this whole corona virus but um, you know so many people are coming to me oh my god we can't find laundry soap. Well, they have these at the Dollar Tree. They also have the off-brand and the bigger bottle. So please, please do not forget your laundry soap, fabric softener, whatever you use to clean. Now, the next item is medicines. Get you some Tylenol, ibuprofen, all the medicines. They even have some cold, a uh, cough and cold. I just recently found this. And I like this one because it says for people with high blood pressure, which I do have. And um, this doesn't expire till September 2020. So any kind of medicines, pain medicines, things like that, I highly recommend you getting. So that is what I recommend from the Dollar Tree that you can get for your emergency prep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Bye.